As a further example, we're now going to be looking at a pendulum oscillating in a gas. So here is the problem. We have a pendulum that is a part of um, a gas that's con contained in an uh, isolated uh, cylinder, let's say. So the system is uh, totally isolated. And we find that there is also no friction uh, at the contact point of the um, pendulum with the ceiling, no friction. And what happens here is that we start the oscillations of the pendulum and then we watch the system. And the question is, what is going to happen in equilibrium? Well, basically, as the pendulum oscillates, the bob will start colliding with the gas molecules and each collusion with the gas molecules will result in energy transfer between the bob and the molecules. Now, if you think about the total energy of the system, since the system is isolated, total energy must be a constant. What does the total energy consist of? Well, the kinetic energy of the molecules, if this is just a monatomic gas, that's the only contribution, translational kinetic energy. Um, then we have the total energy of the bob, which consists of a kinetic and a potential uh, term, potential energy term. Uh, however, since uh, Part of the energy being concentrated on the bob, a large amount of energy being concentrated on the bob is uh, not a very uh, disordered situation. It's quite uh, ordered, um, non-uniform situation. What will happen is that as a result of the energy transfer between the bob and the molecules, the oscillations will die out and energy, there will be a net energy transfer from the bob to the gas molecules until the energy is uh, distributed over the gas molecules. So for the most random uh, distribution of energy, most random configuration, the system will have the total energy distributed over the gas molecules. The oscillations will uh, tend to stop, however, due to random collisions with the gas molecules, what will happen is that uh, at equilibrium, the bob will be at the vertical position, but there will be small fluctuations around the uh, vertical equilibrium position due to random collisions with the gas molecules. And if you think about the reverse process, the, as a result of collisions with the gas molecules, the energy gets transferred to the bob and the bob starts oscillating the large amplitude, this will never happen, right? So therefore, this process is irreversible, irreversible process. So let's note our observations for this system. Um, so let me correct this here. There is no friction. All right, so what I observe here is that uh, as the pendulum oscillates, it will collide with the gas molecules. The pendulum bob collides with the gas molecules. And for simplicity, let's say that this is a monatomic gas so that it only has translational degrees of freedom. Uh, each collusion results in energy transfer between the pendulum bob and gas molecules. Energy transfer during collusions. And if I write the total energy of the system, E total, it's going to consist of the energy of the bob plus the energy of the gas. And the energy of the bob consists of a potential energy term plus a kinetic energy term. And the energy of the gas, if this is a monatomic gas, is going to consist of the sum of the kinetic terms 
um, and the total energy E total is a constant in this system and why because the system is isolated all right and what will happen is at equilibrium the total energy E total will be uh, redistributed over the gas molecules and why does that happen because this is the most random or uniform configuration and as a result of this the oscillation amplitude will decrease in time irreversibly the oscillations die out irreversibly okay so this is an irreversible process and what is the equilibrium situation? So let me concentrate on the equilibrium situation here. At equilibrium, I have uh, small fluctuations due to random collisions. And for these fluctuations, there will be no preferred direction let's look at a similar scenario here actually this energy transfer process can be turned into a useful output now i have the same pendulum oscillating in the in the gas and there is a wood and a nail so as this pendulum uh, collides with the nail it's going to drive uh, the nail into the wood all right and it's going to be colliding with the gas molecules and with the nail it does some useful work on the nail by driving it into the wood but as a result of also the collisions with the gas molecules eventually at equilibrium the energy will be redistributed over the gas molecules and I will have exactly the same equilibrium situation. The bob will stop oscillating except for small fluctuations around the equilibrium position. Alright, so in this case the bob initially does useful work on the nail driving it into the wood and then at equilibrium we will have um, total energy redistributed over the gas molecules so this will be the energy of the ith molecule in the gas and the bob has small fluctuations and no preferred direction of oscillation because the fluctuations will be due to random collisions with the gas molecules but at the end we will also have the nail uh, driven being driven into the wood again this process is irreversible there is no way the nail will come out of the wood transfer its energy to the bob collide with the bob and the bob will uh, end up giving us large amplitude oscillation so this is never going to happen therefore the process again that I'm describing here is irreversible so we have shown two cases where 
um, we approach from a non-equilibrium situation to an equilibrium situation and the equilibrium situation is always the one which has the most random distribution of energy in the system and that can be achieved by distributing the energy over the gas molecules and when the system moves from a non-equilibrium uh, condition to the equilibrium uh, configuration the process is irreversible and the degree of irreversibility depends on the number of particles so we have a large number of particles here what is n n here is of the order of Avogadro's number so it's a few moles let's say and therefore we're going to have a large number and a uh, quite a small energy per molecule because the total energy will be redistributed over the gas molecules and we have seen an example where the uh, the energy transfer process can also be turned into a useful work by for example driving the nail into the wood in this case but again the process is irreversible and the energy cannot be recovered uh, from the uh, the wood nail system